Hello guys, welcome back to another episode of the Trailblazer series, and this episode is going to be focusing a lot on God Wars. We're finally starting God Wars. Yes, we took our sweet time, but we were busy doing a lot of other things. But it's time to start investing in the blowpipe more because, yeah, God Wars is our number one source of darts for our region. And Ceridum is going to be the best one because the boss drops 40 rune darts at like 1 in 15. And the minions, of course, drops a bunch of steel darts, which are already so good even at steel. So this is definitely the first one. But all the unique drops are pretty useful. Uh, SGS mainly is going to be good for long-term future PVM, such as Nightmare. And also good points for Dragon Rank because we are definitely focusing a lot on going and maintaining Dragon Rank as well. So yeah, lots to do. Anyways, if you guys are enjoying the videos and you want more, make sure to keep liking the videos as always. That is much appreciated. Alright, so for my protection items, so I can get the chill entrance, unholy symbol with just this year home. So, really easy. We go in, put on our appropriate armor, and then just spam some debos. Oh my god, first kill? Sarah Sword? Sick. <laughs> oh yeah. How easy was that? First kill of God Wars and we are already uh, getting a drop. So God Wars bosses defenses are pretty damn high, especially Sarah. She's got like one of the highest with Armadale, I believe. But yeah, the Dark Bow can still sometimes just finish her off though. Just with her specs alone. So that's nice. Oh nice, there we go. Our first uh, Steel Dart. First Steel Dart drop. Super defense, those are good. I actually need those. I actually want those for super combats later on as well. Ooh, our first rune dart though. Here we go. It's a one in like 16 or so. Oh, God Sword Shard 3. Let's go. First God Sword Shard. So I made the level 3 pool, aka the Baja Blast pool, which grants unlimited special attack and prayer back. So it's two in one, really nice. And I put the dummy next to our pool as well so that way i can use the blowpipe to heal up and then recharge real quick within a few steps and then go right back into the boss it's just seriously busted it won't be a problem oh god sword shard one let's go let's go nice uh, i think we need god sword shard two and uh, we get a blade since I'm killing the minions a lot for steel darts, they also drop a lot of coins along with the boss. So I made the Ring of Wealth because it auto picks up the coins. So it'll save me a lot of time from having to pick up extra stuff. All right, so we brought a Bone Crusher as well. So <gasps> wait a minute, defeat any Gower's boss a hundred times? Ooh, I thought I got something crazier. But anyways, yeah, I brought my Bone Crusher. Totally forgot to bring that for that extra prayer experience. Definitely uh, worth it. Oh, more steel darts. Let's go. Am I 2k yet? Holy shit. Nice. 2,000 steel darts acquired at 120 Sarah Casey. Very nice. Uh, nice. Wow. 200 rune darts. And maybe more today. Damn, son. Oh my god. Sarah Demon Sword again? How? It's like every time I start Sarah... I always get a Sarah Sword. I'm on my 8th one in uh, 141. Oh my god. <laughs> Stop giving me Sarah Swords, please. Are you serious? Sorry, I lied. I I, I said I wasn't going to record any more Sarah Swords. But I just got a back-to-back -back again. Mother... <laughs> Seriously. I can't believe that. <laughs> oh my god. How, do you do How does this happen, man? I don't even... Oh, actually, uh, I completed the Gossard Blade. Let's go. Finish this trip, and yeah, Gossard Blade number one done. So, I'm going to show you guys my style of killing Sir after doing a good amount and getting my strategy down. I'm not going to say that this is the best method or anything. This is just my method I found to work really consistently. So I start the fight with the Bone Crossbow for the guaranteed damage slash defense reduction. And then... I run around the other side of the wall and shoot four dark bow specs. And I'll end all my specs on the corner of the long wall and then I will switch over to the crystal bow with which I will crystal bow it down for the rest. 
And you can probably honestly just blowpipe the whole time, but nah, I think this works out really well and less dangerous. Uh, why was that there? Oh! Oh, okay. Ah, uh, dang it, I got trolled. I defeated a Gawas boss 250 times. <laughs> dang it, I thought I got something. Oh! Seradum is hit! Let's go! Yes! Oh, baby. First God Sword. Just got pretty much wrapped up. Yeah, let's give me that shit. Let's go. 262 kills for our first big boy drop. Mm -mm. I knew it was coming, man. I knew it was coming. At long last. Hell yeah, dude. So, I definitely have plans for the Seradum and God Sword, other than, you know, points. Because I think it's still going to be really good at Nightmare, my final boss for this league as a ranger just because I have the weapon specialist perk and of course I'll elaborate more in the future when the time comes but it's probably gonna be good for general melee uh, training as well for like Slayer and stuff not so much for God Wars because the blowpipe can easily heal me with the dummy and of course the pool just gives me prayer anyways alright we have made our first blade and we're gonna attach it yes 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 Sarah Godsword Hell yeah, another 250 points. Oh, that was such a big spank. Nice. 27, that's gonna help a lot. Because she is so tanky, man. I ain't gonna lie. Ooh, Debo KO, man. Love, love to see it, man. Oh my god, no, Sarah Hill, I already got one. Oh, no. I guess I can have two Sarah Godswords, but... Alright. Uh-huh. I thought it was an ACV for a second. Maybe it's time to stop killing the minions. Okay, I think 6,000 is pretty good. I don't think we need to kill the minions anymore. Plus, I have like all the shards in the world. So, yeah, man, I think we're good. Let's just go and uh, kill the boss now. It'll save some time. 6,000 times 50. We're basically at 300,000 shots. Of steel darts so yeah let's see how long they last 500 kills of Sarah for 250 points and I am so sad to say that I don't have the armadillo crossbow more darts for me I guess more rune darts sure why not but yeah hopefully I get it soon so in this picture you see loot from 500 it says 430 but I'm pretty sure rune lights bugged but yeah it's about 500 1,200 rune darts, and we seen earlier, 6,000 net profit in steel darts. So, I think it was like 15 rune darts a TOB. So, we're looking at like, yeah, 100 TOBs with this amount of rune darts. So, that's quite a lot, man. That's quite a lot. Hopefully, we can get a lot of drops. And honestly, even if I drop down a steel, it'll still be really good at TOB. I can spam the blowpipe in most of the rooms and still get the best DPS out of all my weapons. Uh, maiden for sure at any point. Bloat for sure if people do enough specs and reduce defense. Milo, absolutely. Darpies, absolutely. Zarpis, pretty much every time. As Bone Crossbow does the job with even one BGS, it, it can still do the job. And at Versic too, except only on P3 though, with Crystal Armor. The rest, I can blow pipe with Void though. Nice. Steel Darts is still pretty uh, popping, you know? Still got a 22 minute just with steel darts. All right, one more to go, and then we finish it. We gamble the cape once we have uh, the fifth task done. Not too bad. Okay, just got to do this one more time. Nice. Oh, there it is, the fifth one. Cool. Gamble three fire capes. Let's see if we get the lucky. Yeah, no, you're not lucky. Okay, another one. Next. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, I thought I misclicked. Here we go. Third time's the charm. Yeah, oh, never lucky. The theme of this league for me is never lucky, pretty much. So there are two more Jad tasks for 500 points total, 15kc and 30kc. I think they're both worth it in the long run because it's only like eight hours to get 500 points. 15 is definitely worth it. So I'm going to do probably one a day until I get 15 and then 30 if I really need more points. So tomorrow, there's going to be an update where in Trailblazer, 
you will actually be able to save your steps on clues that you can't do anymore. So if you like lost the clue at step two because you couldn't go any further, your next clue is going to actually start at step two. You're going to remember it. Oh, okay. All right. I can't already uh, do this anymore on the first after the first step. So I'm on three steps. So if I drop this and then I do the next medium clue, it should already start off with three steps. So I did manage to stock up 300 eclectics though. So by the way, I've opened like 230 eclectics and I'm about to finally complete my first medium clue. So yeah, it is still pretty, 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 pretty bad. <laughs> Pretty sure this is max steps. Also unlucky that I got max steps. Yay, first medium clue though. At least I get points for this no matter what. Wonder what it could be. It is absolutely nothing good. All right, that was really hard, honestly, to get the second medium clue done. All right, here we go. Here we go, please. At least a unique item, that'd be great. Oh, we got a unique item, let's go. Decently worth it, you know, decently worth it. At least we got two tasks done with this, but it took me about two hours just to do two medium clues and most of the reason i had to drop was because of canon region so my best bet is if you want to do medium clues like decently well you definitely want Ascania and canon together if not you're kind of just screwed you know for me it's not worth doing medium clues oh nice dude at least hard clues doesn't seem too hard for me to do i've only had to drop one to actually finish this so wow all right, man. Hopefully it's good. Blessing would be nice. Ooh, okay. Gain five unique items, fill three hard clue collection slots. Two tasks done in one? Oh, hell yeah, man. This is some. Free this is the freest points of all time. Fountain of Heroes. Oh, f split bar legs, though. Wow, I can actually do this. Fucking split bar, though. Fine cloth. Damn, I should just do this. Adamant Spears? Flam to your bag? Oh, that's useful. Oh, there we go. One fine cloth. Yes! Got it. Let's go. Oh, man. That was a pain to get this last three. Okay. Split bar legs. Don't mess this up. There we go. Alright. Come on. Show me. Doable or not? Oh, doable. Nice. There we go, man. Step finale, I think. Oh, casket. First elite clue, boys. That was pretty lucky. Four strings of steps that I can do back to back. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, unique item. Nice. And that means we get two tasks done. Hell yeah. 200 points from that. Definitely. Oh, crystal tool seed. Damn. That's like my third one I've seen. Oh, yo, Crystal Tool Seed, oh my god. Yes, 250 points, too bad I can't use it, but hey, I actually got lucky on a Crystal Tool Seed, let's go. I actually got lucky on a Crystal Tool Seed this time. What was it, like 1800 for a Crystal Tool Seed in the main game? Oh, yes, nice, we got, we got lucky on this. Hell yeah, hell yeah, dude, 250 points, so we got the... Dragon pickaxe ornament though. That's another 250. Hell yeah. Okay, we are at 250. I am gonna call it quits at Sokano for a while. So I will hold out on finishing the rest of Sokano because the next one's 500 KC, which is doubled. That's like 10 hours probably. And I can get way easier points in a fraction of the time, like Azora. I can get 500 points of Azora in like, I don't know, five hours or something, six hours. So yeah, I'm going to head over there next as my next point journey. Also, Sword Pelham's best in slot for future uses, Nightmare and TOB. I've been using the Theater of Blood Bank a lot for banking, but I think it's time to upgrade. I should just unlock the Crafting Guild Bank. It's going to be so much better with the Crafting Cape. So I wonder if I have enough stuff already for 99. I think I do. I mean, with all these gems, I cut it, right? And then I can also turn them into jewelry. All right, so let's do this. Ah, uh, it's gonna be so nice upgrading our teleports. There we go, fairy ring in the house. Ah, so nice. No more scuff teleporting. 
Next big upgrade for teleports though is the crafting cape, for sure. I'm spending most of my AFK time at Malo, but sometimes I need something even more AFK. And I really want this crafting cape, so I'm gonna be mixing it up between Mother Load and Shades of Morn AFK. This is actually super freaking AFK. I'm gonna try out my first hour here. So, I've done over an hour of Shades of Morn minigame. And trust me, I was not clicking this that often. I definitely had some moments where I kind of just forgot about this whole thing. And uh, yeah, probably could have gone a good amount more XP, but we're still... Floating at 400k an hour. Yeah, this flame tier bag is actually really nice. <laughs> Makes the AFK method so much better. You can just stock up on so many of these supplies. And yeah, it lets you AFK for super long. Oh, by the way, it's World 402. I forgot to mention. I realized I have 1.5k molten glass. And all of this came from the Theater of Blood. So that is really, really good. So we're gonna definitely take advantage of this. I think it's somewhere between one and two mil if I were to guess. Oh. Oh my god, are you serious? Oh, oh, never mind, never mind. Yay. Had to get the 99 crafting in style with some dragonstone amulets. 99 crafting's done. Let's freaking go, man. Oh, really want that crafting cave, man. Best in slot, true best in slot banking of all time, guys. No joke, no exaggeration. I miss this cape. It's gonna be so nice for me, dude, because I bank so much, and yeah. All that less walking, you know? Difference between Dragon's bank and crafting kill is so much better. For reals. Yes. Hey, <laughs> crafting cape. Let's go. Best in slot teleport. Look at how close it is to the bank. It's such a joke, you know, how close it is. Like... Damn, you know, it is so nice. So freaking nice. Thank you guys for watching today's video. If you found this video to be enjoyable, consider giving it a like. We also have a friends chat. Feel free to join that if you want to hang out. And also, consider subscribing and ringing the bell. That way you will get all video notifications. And if you have... Amazon Prime, feel free to subscribe on twitch.tv slash ricecup and you can financially support me for free through Amazon Prime. Anyways, thanks for watching. See you guys later.